thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for May the 21st to May the 27th. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe. I know I always say that, I'm sorry, but I have to or leave a comment and if you'd like to um, I have everything ready I'm just going to start your reading as quickly as I can for lovely Capricorn people the first card you have your past is a six of swords so yes this is the leaving card obviously so I'm seeing you wanting to you want, I'm, I'm just getting this feeling of you wanting to feel safe you wanted your emotions to feel safe you wanted to feel safe emotionally that's what I'm seeing with this card you want to be safe from someone's words because when I see swords, I often see hurtful words. So someone was um, causing some kind of turmoil inside you um, and you just wanted to feel calmer. The woman in this boat's moving on. So there are, there are choppy waters um, in the bottom right hand corner of this card. It's very wavy. So there's a lot of um, turmoil going on. And then she's trying to move into um, calmer waters. That's what I'm seeing. Well, that's what it's not what I'm seeing that's what's there so um yeah so this person I'm seeing could have shown you some sort of side of them that you just didn't know was there it suddenly came out now I, I'm seeing that you probably felt that something wasn't right with this person I know that you had your instincts you kind of knew something was going on but then they showed you something that was really shocking about them or that really um, upset you or they said something yes i'm seeing words so yes they might have said something that really showed you who they really were so i'm seeing you probably saw some hints of this behavior or some hints of what they were actually like but you didn't realize what this person was really really capable of until whatever this incident was that's what i'm seeing so uh, yes you just didn't want to be around this person when this happened i wouldn't either i i can understand why you felt that way so um Yes, you might not be away from forever because I'm seeing that you might come back to this person. But at this time, I'm seeing what you were doing was just showing them that you weren't tolerating whatever they were saying or doing. And it was like, I just don't want to, if you want to make an excuse, if you want to speak to me, if you want to say whatever, I don't want to hear it. I'm only going to be hurt. I'm just going to go away from you for a while. I just can't listen to this anymore. It's that kind of feeling. Because this woman has her head down. She doesn't want to get up and face this person. So it's not like you're hiding away. It's not like you want to have your head down and hide away. It was like you didn't want to hear their excuses and you didn't want to hear any more words from them. Because their words hurt you, that's what I'm seeing, and you just wanted to go where you felt calmer and you were trying to protect your emotions from any further words they were going to say from you. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have for your past is the King of Cups. So yes, this person in the Six of Swords, um, I'm seeing they're probably a very difficult person to read. What I mean by that is um, maybe it was very hard to see what they're actually truly feeling. So yes, you did have your suspicions about, not suspicions, but you had this kind of odd feeling about maybe they were hiding their true feelings, maybe they were hiding who they really were, that kind of thing. You never quite knew where you were with this person. There was this kind of uneasy feeling around this. And, you know, I'm seeing that their feelings were below the surface. They weren't showing you who they truly were. Um, if you look at this king, he's sitting on a kind of a block, but the block's above the water. And the water's rocky as well, once again. So the water, obviously, it symbolizes emotion. So this king's king, keeping king, he's, he's keeping his emotions below this block that he's sitting on. So he's not showing his emotions. So that's what I'm seeing. This person wasn't showing you who they truly were. But you did find out something about them. They, they couldn't hide this for long. People can't hide their true selves for long. And it comes out eventually. And that's what happened. Something came out. Not everything. You still don't know everything about this person. Or you didn't at this time. This is in your past. But something came out. They couldn't help it. They said something. Because I'm seeing swords. And you just had to get away from whatever this was. The last card you have your past is the Page of Wands. So yes, what I'm seeing here is you really needed motivation. Even though you're going through all this horrible emotional stuff going on with this horrible person, you still had to go about your day-to-day -day life. Of course you did, everyone does. So you had your work, you had your normal things you had to do. So you, you weren't feeling motivated. You probably felt like, 
going to bed and staying there. But you couldn't do that. So you had to kind of force yourself to be motivated. So this page of wands, wands are about getting action, doing things. And, you know, usually the page is about being enthusiastic. You had to kind of not, not be fake, but you had to kind of fake your enthusiasm a bit because you actually weren't very motivated, but you pushed yourself, you pushed yourself to get through this, what you had to do at this time. So the first card you have your present is the King of Wands, more wands. So yes, you're a very determined person. And I'm seeing that no matter what's thrown at you, and this was a really terrible thing that was thrown at you, you still push through. You're still very, very strong. And you do like to keep your work separate from your, um, um, your emotional life. And that makes sense for you to do that. You have a kind of professional facade you put on. Once again, not fake, but you have to kind of, you have to do this at work. It's just how you have to be. You can't be falling about crying at work. You have to put on, you know, a certain facade at work. You do. And um, I'm seeing you probably, or you are, you're probably in a position at work where um, you need to project a, some kind of, you have to help people. You're there, you're in a position where you need to help people, you need to motivate people. And I'm seeing you might be thinking, well, I can't even motivate myself. How can I motivate other people at this time? I'm feeling terrible. But you were, you had a lot more strength than you realized. And I'm seeing that um, you are, or you are, this is in your presence. So yes, you're a strong person. You're pushing through this. What you're feeling inside yourself is very different from what you're actually doing. So yes, you are so, so strong. You're pushing through this. People look up to you and you were actually motivating people or you are at this time. I keep on going back to the past. I'm sorry because I'm, I'm looking between the past and the present. I'm sorry about that. So yes, you are able to motivate people even though you aren't feeling that inside yourself. That's what I'm seeing. So on the surface, people are seeing that you are very strong, that you're motivating, that you're capable. That's what I'm seeing. And that's that's what you want to do anyway. You want to put that across. So the next card you have your present is the King of Pentacles. So yes, work, money, I always see you being work focused. And yes, again, this is how people see you. They see you as being in control. They see you as being financially stable, really thriving able to help other people. Um, you might be trying to keep up this image. Again, not in a false way, not in a fake way, but I am seeing you feeling that people um, expect a certain standard from you at work or around work projects or whatever this is. And you expect this of yourself as well. You have very high standards of yourself. Um, you might be finding it hard to share what you're going through with people. So obviously when you're at work, you don't want to share that with those people, but there are people close to you. There are people who are not the work people, there are some people who are very close to you. They might be work people, because I do see you that you are, you are close to some work people. But there are some people who are close to you, who care for you. I'm seeing you're being strong for people. I'm seeing you're caring for other people. You're helping other people in the King of Wands. You need to ask yourself, who's caring about you? Who's caring for you? Find someone that can care for you. Find someone who um, you can trust, who you can speak to, who can care for you. You need to let this out with someone. You need to vent to someone. So talk about this with someone who can trust. The last card you have your present is the Page of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing fighting and I'm seeing freedom with this card. So um, yes, that sounds really cringy, fighting for your freedom and it sounds dramatic, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that phrase, that phrase, the fra phrase, phrase, I'm seeing that phrase, fighting for your freedom. So I'm seeing that you're going to go and speak to this person. Um, if not now, you will soon. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you setting down some ground rules, maybe not rules, but standards. I'm seeing that you have these high standards. So you might be setting down these standards with this person who hurt you in the Six of Swords. Again, I'm seeing this is a romantic connection. So Yes, look at this page. He has his sword ready. He's going to cut through any excuses this person might have. I'm also seeing birds behind him. So this represents this freedom. So this is fighting for your freedom that I'm seeing. And you might be giving this person an ultimatum. And you might be feeling free. I'm not actually seeing... 
I am saying this is still going to be difficult, but there is a certain freedom in even speaking up for yourself in telling them how you're feeling, giving this ultimatum to this person. At least you're showing them uh, what you will and you won't put up with. That's what I'm seeing in this page of swords. So you are going to speak to this person. So the first card you have for your future is a three of swords, yes. Right, um, you're speaking to this person. You're going to continue with this conversation with this person. There are going to be some really harsh words on both sides. I'm seeing this might be an argument. This might escalate into something quite harsh. Some sharp words are coming through, uh, uh, coming from you and from them as well. That's what I'm seeing. Um, this is going to be a very difficult conversation. Um, if things escalate, what I'm seeing is if things start escalating to name calling or they get to the point where um, there isn't anything helpful or constructive coming out of this, anything you know worth worthwhile being said, try to walk away or at least try to not engage with this person. I think you really should walk away. Things might escalate to something quite serious here. I'm not seeing... This is verbal. These are swords. I'm not seeing you um, punching each other or anything like that. I shouldn't laugh. This is quite serious. But yes, I am seeing there are going to be very, very harsh words. They're going to hurt. Um, yes, think about this relationship with this person. That's all. This is all I'm going to say. Think about this relationship with this person. Look at this heart. What's underneath this heart? Is there anything underpinning this heart. Look at this heart. It's floating around in the air. It's floating around in the rain, up in the clouds. What's underneath this? Think about this. Is there a foundation? Is there a solid foundation under this relationship? If not, the only thing I can say is you need to move on. That's all I can say. The next card you have for your future is the Knight of Wands. So yes, harsh words are going to be sad. You're not going to feel in control of what you're saying. This is coming from both sides as well. You're going to feel like your mouth's actually running away with you. You're saying all these terrible things. This person is going to be like that as well. Um, if you look at this horse, this knight cannot control this horse. This is out of control. This is words out of control. So yes, again, walk away if things escalate or if things start feeling out of control. Just walk away because it's not going to help. It's not going to help if things escalate. The last card you have for your future is the Four of Cups. So yes, this person is not going to admit what they've done. They're not going to admit what they've said. You're even going to try and say, look, you're offering them something. You're saying, look, I'm trying to be open with you. I'm trying to talk to you. Look, this is what's happened open up and talk to me and look at this man under the tree he's just sitting there he's not he's not going to admit anything has gone wrong with him he's not going to admit he's said anything he's not going to admit he's done anything i can't tell you what to do but look at this there's nothing underpinning this heart the words are out of control you're having an argument he's not listening to you she's not listening to you, whoever this is and the page of swords look at these buds that indicating you need to be free. That's all I can say. I'm very sorry. I know I get in trouble for saying sorry. I get into trouble, I should say, um, but I am. Okay, I just am. Sorry about that. So Capricorn, I won't say I hope this resonated, but if you needed to hear this, you needed to hear this. That's all I can say. But you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. Again, it might not have resonated, but if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so much for watching.